drive-by shooting is organ stealing. I'm worth $50 million and I need a kidney. And you know, kidneys are pretty sensitive. You gotta find somebody who really got the kidney that matches yours. You think I'm gonna wait till somebody die for me to get one? If I don't get one soon, I'm gonna die. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pay somebody to go research people. Okay, let's go look at all the black organ donors. Let's look at all the black people who got organ donor on their driver's license, which is why I'm not a friend of that. I say, if you want to donate your organs, put it in your will. Say that if I die, this can go to my family, my relatives, my friends, or whomever. But when you put it on your license, I believe you make yourself a public target. And so what did they find? We got a guy in Los Angeles. He has the same blood type as you, same kidney type as you, likely. He ain't he healthy, though. He ain't likely to die no time soon. He don't know you, so he ain't going to give you no organ for free. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to arrange a murder that makes it look like he was in a car accident. We're going to arrange a murder that makes it look like he committed suicide. So the next thing you know, you coming out the gas station, boom, you get hit by a Mack truck. You dead, gone. You get taken to the funeral home. Your family come to the funeral. They don't know that before your body got laid to rest. A little hole was poked and they pulled your kidney out. A lot of people don't know, when you get arrested or even when you get convicted, a lot of times law enforcement or police will swab your mouth for DNA. And now they have your DNA record on file, they have your genetic information on file. And you have to understand with law enforcement, a lot of times they'll sell your information to tabloids and like especially celebrities, they sell their information to tabloids and magazines and news outlets all the time. So it's not a stretch to believe that they won't use your DNA or your genetic information for nefarious reasons. You, my son, cops come by and inform me you've just been shot dead. You don't have jurisdiction over that body. Mm -hmm. That's the coroner. You can't get that body till the coroner release you. So we get released, we go around and pick it up, and I see all these cuts and these stitches. I just thought they was doing a retune investigation, following the family, they took your organs. Mm -hmm. I'm under all this stress, my son is dead. Now you buried now, I can't dig you up because the court got to have permission. Most of those cases is organ stealing. It's been known for a long time, even back in slavery times, that black organs were considered superior genetically to other folks' organs. For example, whenever there's a transplant, okay, especially when rich folks get heart transplant, liver transplant, kidney transplant, they like white, they like black organs. We had a famous case in Pennsylvania, Governor Casey, who was one of the most racist governors who ever lived back in the 19, late 80s, early 90s. He had a heart transplant. Guess who heart they gave him? A black person's heart. Down in Georgia, there was a case of an African-American 17-year-old kid who was found mysteriously dead at school. He died in the gym. They did an autopsy and they buried him. His family, they weren't satisfied with the results because they, they still wanted to know what happened to their son. They had the body exhumed, found out that his organs were missing and his body was stuffed with newspapers and people are still trying to find answers. The officials down there in Georgia, they act like they don't know what's going on. There was another case out here in California. A young African-American man was found dead in Death Valley in the, in, the, in the desert. All of his organs were missing. His liver, heart, lungs, kidneys, all gone. There's a case in, in the UK recently. A Somalian girl was brought over there for organ harvesting. They found out that they were gonna harvest her organs and they stopped that. There was another case in Asian couples. They went over to Africa. They adopted a black girl. Two weeks later, she was dead. So these cases of organ harvesting are just going on all over the world and people are being real quiet about it.